Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name's Dana. I'm 24 years old. I'm currently on a weight loss journey and vlogging my post-grad life. So if you don't follow me already on TikTok, I'm gonna leave that right here and also link down below. That's where you can follow along more closely on my fitness journey. I post over there every single day. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am on my way to get my second COVID vaccine. I got Pfizer. Um, I'm picking up my grandma first. If you missed my last one, I'm gonna link it right here so you can go check that out as well. And I just pick up my grandma and she goes with me because nobody else can since it's like the middle of the day. Uh, everyone else is working and I am just get super anxious about this kind of stuff. So I need a buddy with me and she so generously offered to take me. So I am on my way to get her and then I'm going to head over to Walgreens to get that done. I'm going to vlog all the way until Sunday. Today's Friday, by the way. Um, just in case any symptoms or side effects do, um, present itself. I feel like I should note that I have like a little bit of drainage going on in my throat. TMI maybe, sorry, but my throat hurts just a little bit, like just like a little allergy thing. I don't have a cough. I don't have a sore, like a runny nose, stuffy nose, headache, nothing hurts. I can breathe. So it kind of feels like when you sleep with the window open and your mouth is open all night and you just kind of feel like ick the next day. Um, so keep that in mind if I do end up getting any sort of symptoms. Um, I kind of already had a sore throat, so that's that. I'm kind of looking gross today. I literally just threw on the first t-shirt that was in my clean clothes bin um, because I know that I have to wear like a baggy t-shirt so that I can like lift up my sleeve so that they can give me the shot. Um, last time I got my shot, if you watched my last video, you know my arm was absolutely so sore. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. I don't want it to be like, as sore as it was last time. So I went and grabbed my grandma. I was like running super late. So I was like in a rush to get to my appointment. I made it. Um, it hurt when they put it in. Last time it didn't hurt at the actual like vaccination time. This is gonna be really poor quality because it's gross and rainy out. Um, so I'll make it quick, but it hurt when she put it in, but so far so good. Like my arm doesn't hurt to like move around yet. Um, I feel fine. Like, I don't feel sick or anything. I'm headed to Ben's now. I'm about 15 minutes away. Um, and we're just going to like lay low obviously tonight and we'll see how I'm feeling in the morning. I'm expecting to feel, if I do start to feel any type of like sick or anything, I'm expecting it to come about 12 hours after my vaccine. So it'll be like five or six in the morning. So I'll keep you updated. Um, Ben and I are leaving, and most of you probably know this, but we're leaving for Florida next Wednesday. So I wanted to pick up some extra hours at work. So I'm actually planning to go in and nanny a little bit tomorrow. So if I feel good, fingers crossed, also I'm supposed to have an eyelash appointment tomorrow, which I've already done that bad, but it'll be nice to have them like, you know, fresh for vacation. So I wanna be able to make both of those tomorrow. So I really hope I'm feeling well. So I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> good morning, happy Saturday. I just got to my eyelash appointment. Um, I'm feeling like absolute crap. So I'll update you guys when I get back in because I'm running super late, super slow start this morning. Cause holy cow, I just feel like a butthole on a stick. So I'm gonna go in here and get these eyelashes done um, and then debate whether or not going into work. So I will update you guys and tell you all about everything when I get back. Okay, here's the gist. So um, I am leaving the eyelash place now. I feel a little bit better. I think getting up, getting out of bed and just like getting on with my day and kind of forcing myself, like not pushing myself too hard, but forcing myself to get up and get out and everything is good. Um, she took my temperature three separate times and I'm in 98.4. So it's like almost perfect. Like I don't have a fever. Um, <clears throat> I wear my mask. Like I'm not worried about that. I just really think I hurt my back lifting yesterday which makes me so sad and I am really nervous about it. Um, I was doing glutes. If you guys keep up with me on my TikTok, you've seen this one. Um, I tried doing Kang squats. First time ever while I was doing them, I could tell that I was doing something wrong because they hurt my back really bad. So I stopped. Um, and then I went into like good mornings into a squat and I was like, this is not happening. Like there's just no way I hurt my back. So my back didn't hurt that bad for the rest of the day. So I was like, oh, maybe it was just like while I was doing the movement, it hurt. But then last night it started to hurt and I had Ben like use the massage gun on it. Um, it got a little better or whatever. My throat still hurt a little bit. I went to bed. I actually fell asleep so early. I crashed so early. It was like nine o'clock. Um, he brought me in. He made me tea and filled my water bottle up and brought me some cookies and then turned on Friends, which is like my comfort show. I absolutely love him. It was so sweet. 
So I crashed right away. Um, don't even drink any of my tea. I felt so bad. But then I woke up and I was like, fine. It was like 8.30. I felt okay. Um, throat still hurt a little bit. Like, I just feel like I have that drainage in my throat. Like I was telling you guys about. And I'm like, eh, whatever. Like, I feel okay. Like, I just feel kind of tired. So Ben was like, well, fall back to sleep for a little bit. So then I woke up at 10.30, which is extremely late for me. Like, I almost never sleep in that late. Um, arm pounding pain. Like, I... I my arm hurts so bad which if you watched my last vlog you know I was a big baby last time uh cried and everything because it hurts so bad so my arm hurts but that's not even the worst of it I would say the worst is the body aches and chills not really sure why I have the chills because I don't have like a fever not really sure if those go hand in hand but for some reason I thought that you get chills because you have a fever but I don't have a fever we checked it three times um I have chills and I have hella body aches. I am also on my period. Sorry, TMI, not really. Um, but that doesn't help, obviously. So I think I pulled my something in my back. I'm on my period and I already had a sore throat slash cold thing. And now I have body aches and chills. And it's not fun. It's not. But I have to go into work for a little bit because I offered to do this for the family I nanny. Ben and I leave for vacation on Wednesday and I need some extra money. Um, I knew they wanted to run some errands around today anyways. So... I am just gonna go do that. I think I'm gonna pick up some Panera um, on the way over there because soup sounds amazing. I haven't eaten anything today yet. It is 2.15 um, and that's really unlike me because I don't have an appetite. I just got my appetite back. Like I just started while I was in there getting my lashes done, my stomach started rumbling and I was like, thank God. It's making me really nervous that I like didn't wanna eat anything. And the lady that does my lashes, she was like, go get some soup or something. So I'm gonna try that and it's gonna be chill movie day with the kids. Um, we're not doing anything crazy. It's disgusting outside anyway. Ohio weather. I'll keep you updated when I leave nannying. I have no idea when that's going to be. Hi friends. So I did end up going to work as you can see. Um, I got here around three-ish and I took two Tylenol around maybe 4.45-ish um, and I'm feeling a lot better. My back doesn't hurt as much anymore. Um, I was stretching that too, so that probably helped a lot. Um, I still have like a bit of a runny nose and a sore throat. And I'm thinking that that just has to be like from previous situations. Like I must have some kind of cold or something going on. And if that like persists, I will go and get that checked out either tomorrow or Monday, depending on how long it lasts. I'm hoping that I wake up tomorrow and just feel like totally 100% back to normal so we'll see about that um it's now like 10 30 and I'm just waiting to get off here and then I think I'm gonna head up to Cleveland and pick Ben up and be a good girlfriend and DD he picked me up last weekend so I feel like I owe him one um and since I'm feeling okay why not so just kind of hanging out until it's time for that um, I'll definitely update you tomorrow morning, depending on how I'm feeling, because if it continues to go the way that it's going, I should be feeling pretty much back to my normal self by the time I wake up tomorrow. Like I said, it's like 10.30, so 12 hours from now will be tomorrow morning. I'll be waking up, and I'll hope to be back to normal, or close to normal, 98% maybe. So, we will see about that. I will keep you guys updated. Sup friends, ignore my appearance, please. It is literally like raining slash sleeting here in Northeast Ohio and it's just making today even better. Um, like I said, I left work to go up and pick Ben and a friend up. I was DDing them. Um, and we had about 10 minutes left on the ride coming home and I started to feel really sick again. Fever, not fever, but like chills, body aches. I was like, as soon as we get home, I'm jumping in bed. I was like, I'm not changing. In the pajamas i'm not taking my contacts out like i'm not like and that's exactly what i did i literally came home walked through the door went straight to the bed and crashed then i woke up about every hour or two hours probably um in horrible pain like trying so hard not to throw up like i had that urge to like puke i was like don't like don't <laughs> i did not want to throw up um and i got up one time to go to the bathroom and when i stood up i felt like i was gonna pass out so that was kind of scary, but I ran back into the bed and just laid down like and made it just in time and then literally started breaking out in a huge sweat. So at the time, Ben couldn't find the thermometer, but he found it this morning and I was feeling a little bit better and my temperature was 99.1. So I probably had a little bit of a fever in the middle of the night, but it has gone down since. Um, I just drove Ben up to get his car and he is going to like a golf lesson. So he should be back in like an hour 
I'm gonna head in here and pop something on Netflix and just try to sleep some more. I just got the chills again. I'll probably be door dashing like some ginger ale and Tylenol from Walgreens or something because I just feel like absolute crap. And like we're supposed to leave for Florida in three days and like I'm sure that everything will be fine by then but like I just did not expect to get hit with this like that late. Like I got it Friday at 5 p.m. Like why am I still feeling like this? It's just terrible. So got my water bottle. Like I said, I'm probably gonna door dash like some snacks or something or have Ben bring me something. Maybe he can stop at Walgreens or something like on the way back from his golf lesson, but we will see. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I originally really wanted to get this vlog up tonight, Sunday night, um, just cause I have so many other videos to film and edit and get up before I leave for vacation. I just don't think that's gonna happen because, oh my gosh, like I can barely keep my eyes open. So we'll see how that goes. This is terrible lighting. Ben's about to walk th through the door like any second, but I just napped and it was probably like an hour and a half, two hours ish long. Um, and my nausea has gone away. <clears throat> I have like a scratchy throat. I don't know. I feel like I like definitely had a cold before getting this and that's trying to run its course as well. Who knows? Uh, but now I just have a pounding headache. So he's bringing me Tylenol. I'm going to take the sweatshirt off. The fan's going. I'm just going to keep on resting. Um, Hopefully the last thing to go is this headache. And I'll be back to normal by tomorrow. Because I don't want to miss work. And I want to be back to 100% A-okay -okay by Wednesday. Before I get on a plane. Because that would just make my anxiety skyrocket even more. If I felt nauseous getting on a plane. That just doesn't sound like fun. Um... So, oh, I look terrible. I'll update you guys in a little bit. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning, about 8.30. Um, I woke up feeling a lot better. My hair is so greasy because I need to shower so bad. I'm so excited to go home and shower. Um, ben went into work, and my boss called me yesterday night, like last night, and was like, if you wake up still feeling crappy, like, don't even worry about it. Just come in later whenever you feel up to it. So, my fever has gone down. Um, I just feel super out of it still. I feel kind of, um, you know, like groggy. Like I definitely do not feel anywhere near how I did yesterday. Yesterday was awful. It was torturous. I felt like I could not get out of bed. Like I could barely walk. I could barely move. I was shaky, weak, chills, fever, hot, cold, you know, the whole flu deal so I did just take off my band-aid though and I wanted to show you guys I'm not gonna show you my band-aid because it's disgusting the thing is is I didn't think I was gonna bleed because I did not bleed last time at all um and I definitely bled this time and I want to show you the site if you get queasy maybe don't look um but it's just a oh, it's not even really that bad it's just a little bruised and you can see like where the blood was on the band-aid and you can also see where the band-aid was if you guys watched my last vaccine vlog it was the same situation it almost looks like a tan line i'm assuming that that is from it being kind of swollen around that area um i probably should have taken it off saturday i got it friday night and i probably should have taken it off saturday um to kind of let the area breathe but i didn't i totally forgot about it i was way too occupied with just trying to feel better back to myself normal self so I just took my thyroid medicine, so I have to wait an hour before I eat or drink anything else anyway. So I'm just going to chill here. I'm going to text my boss in a second and just let her know that my fever's down. And then I'm going to go home, shower, change into new clothes. I have been wearing the same two shirts for like three days. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of take my time uh, getting home. I'll probably stop and get something to eat because I didn't eat a single thing yesterday until probably it was like 1030. I finally had a granola bar. 10 30 at night um i had a girl bar and then drank a lot of water i just felt like i was gonna throw up all day and i was really nervous to eat so i didn't really eat yesterday so i'm kind of hungry um so i don't know i'm gonna stop at probably starbucks or chick-fil-a or something and get myself something to eat then go home and shower and get my life together so okay guys so i am home i have showered i um relaxed for a little bit before i took a shower and i finally felt like strong enough I, I don't know if that's the right word like i didn't feel like i was ever gonna pass out when i got in the shower but i was just nervous um to be like standing in like hot water if that makes sense i don't know but it was fine everything's fine i took a long like 10 minute super hot shower and i am already feeling so much better so i am going to relax for a little bit longer and then i'm gonna get up get dressed um and head into work for a little bit 
And then I need to pick up a gift for my mom. My brother and I are going in on a gift card for her. We didn't get to see her yesterday. Obviously I was sick, so I did not go over there. So I am going over there after work to see her tonight. So I need to get that together. Like I said, get dressed, get on with the day. I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have gotten the vaccine or are thinking about getting the vaccine, I don't want any of this to freak anyone out. This is supposed to happen. Um, everything that I saw online just means that this is how your body, it's like this is how you can know that it is working. Your body is trying to fight it off and showing these signs and symptoms is a good thing in the long run. I did experience a sort of delayed reaction, I guess you could call it. Um, I got the vaccine Friday at 5 p.m. and did not start experiencing severe symptoms until maybe like midnight saturday night so it did take a while to kick in so be on the lookout for that like i said just take this as like a psa to make sure that you're not scheduling anything super important um two to three days after your vaccine just in case symptoms do arise or you get that delayed reaction sort of response i have a couple more super exciting videos coming up for you this week so stay tuned for those make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already i'll see you guys in my next video bye and we'll fly